Hey guys, so if you hear background noise, there's a lot of construction going on in my house. Um, so, well, outside my house. So that's why I did a voiceover for this video, but I still wanted to film an intro because, I don't know, I wanted to. <laughs> um, but don't worry, the whole video won't be loud like this. But anyways, today we are doing this hair look. I really love it, it's super easy, um, as you'll see in the tutorial. So I did this whole look with the Hot Tools Hair Weaver. I love it, I haven't put it down since I um, bought it. I bought it at Ulta. This hair look is really easy for me. I have really thick, wavy hair, so it does help to really blow it out first, but what I will say is this look looks even better the next day. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. So as you can see, my hair is really long, so this does work for long hair. Oh my god, do you see that feather that just came out of my brush? Disgusting. Okay, so now I'm brushing my ends. I really baby my ends and brush them so gently. So the very first thing that I'm doing is sectioning off my hair and just throwing it up in a clip. Then this is the hair deep waver. I believe that's what it's called. And you just want to clamp down, hold, slide down to the end of the wave that you just made, hold. And honestly, that is it. How easy is this? It's such a nice, easy hair tutorial. Um, I absolutely love it. And I keep the ends out as I'm showing you right there. If you watch any of my hair tutorials, I'm really big on keeping the ends out because that's what's going to make a nice beachy wave by keeping the ends out. However, you can do whatever you want to do. And then I just go and start scrunching it. And this is where you can add hairspray if your hair doesn't really hold a curl that well. But for me, I could just scrunch it and look how shiny it is. That's all from the hair waver because my hair is really dull. It is not that shiny. And this thing just makes it nice and shiny and wavy and I love it. So now we're doing that exact same thing again. We hold, you just want to clamp down, slide it down to the end of the wave. It's a lot easier when you see it in person. And then you just want to keep moving it down. Just keep sliding it down to as long as you want the curls or waves, whatever you want to call it, to be. It is so easy. That is the look of the bottom of my hair. I absolutely love it, it is so curly. So now we're just taking out the top and the way I do it is I hold it out and bam, you're just gonna go so quick at the top, that's it. Now you can start holding down and doing it the exact same way that we were doing it before. The reason why I do this is because I don't want where the hair meets the scalp to have that like bump right there. So you just want to barely touch it See, it sort of looks like I have it now, but you just want to shake it out like what I'm doing and it goes away. Um, that is why we don't start at the way at top. So as you can see, it's just like a nice little curl. And you can make the waves even curlier than I did just by holding down longer. That's all that you have to do. So we're going to do that again. We're going to go bam, nice and quick, and then hold down to the next section of the hair. And that way you don't have that like bump at the top of your head. So then when you're all done, you just kind of want to shake out the curls and that's what's going to give it that nice wavy look. And I just kind of scrunch it and just kind of pull them apart. And this is where you can go and add hairspray if you feel like your hair won't hold this all day. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.